So I will show you guys now how to very easily summon and kill death several times in a row. It's my greatest secret. Pray, permit me to pray. Okay, we're ready to go. So, in order to farm and kill death, what we need to do is make sure that we get the room with the lizards, not the goblins. When you go into this, there's two versions it can be. Um, we definitely want the version with the lizards. So let's hope we get that. Oh, did I forget para the, the strength boosting items? Do I even have enough of them? Oh, I do. I have eight of them. That's, that's fine. So we're going to quick see if we got the lizards. If not, we'll go in and leave. Uh, nope, those are goblins. We don't want the goblin version. So all you have to do is leave and come back. That's all you got to do. For some reason, death only spawns in the alley if it's the lizard version. Um, so that's why we're doing that. Cool thing about death is that... It, oh, I forgot the God's Bane. Let me go back, sorry. Yeah, if you don't have God's Bane, you can't kill yourself. And killing yourself inside Bitter Black Isle will force uh, death's uh, default position to respawn. Which is what you're going to do in order to force him to appear. Um, so we do need Dragon's Bane, which is the Suicide Knife. You get this for completing the main story in the game. So you should definitely have it by the time you get to this point. I think we'll need to actually put away some weapons really fast. So I think I have a little too much on me. Um, withdrawal. It's not a weapon. Is it other? No. Special materials, tools. Here we go, the God's Bane. Okay, now we are ready. If there is order, pray permit. My apologies, pray guys. Permit, pray. Take so, what you get for killing death is an absolute crap ton of experience points and some good items as well. Um, no, I. I we don't actually need the Cursed King Belt. It's it's totally fine. All you need is Blast Arrows, honestly. I've done it without any of these other items. All you need is Blast Arrows, and you should be fine if you have a good bow. Um, but Death, I was able to farm. I was at a level 140, and I was able to farm to level 200 in just about an hour, um, which is just nothing. So we get the Lizard version. We did. Okay, so we're all good. So we'll have a little fun here. It's a Krogan. I'm just going to be lazy here and just shower them with arrows. We're not going to think too much about it. There is a harpy you have to take care of. It's kind of annoying. So now that we've taken care of room one, we'll go downstairs and we'll take care of room two, which should be very easy. And then we'll be able to lock in death. And again, you can do this over and over again. These annoying little dudes. You don't have to kill them, actually. We just leave them. It's, they're, they're not going to be a nuisance at all. It's fine. So here we go. The, the, the Gora Chimera. Sorry, I'm just being very lazy at my shots here. I just want to quick show you guys this. Tigrex is definitely coming in Iceborne. Yeah, that's that's a given. Um, I mean, they haven't flat out said it, so we can't honestly say it's 100%. Um, but we, we kind of can. You know what I mean? Missing your tail there, buddy. Oh. He's in the way. Anyway, let's quick get a little bit of stamina on being sloppy. That's fine. We don't need much. Yeah, cheesing the enemy at the door is, is cheesy, but you know, whatever. It's 
a fun uh, attack, but it does run your stamina out really fast. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, we're ready. That's odd. Sorry, there's one more guy back here. We'll want to take care of him. Let's not waste our stamina. Let's just run up and do the old slicey dicey. Okay, so that's how easy that is. Uh, I could probably eat that for stamina. Where is it? Ah, a little bit. <laughs> Not a lot to write home about. Yeah, I forgot. L hard mode does uh, take away your stamina. Okay, so if you want to farm death, you will always appear in this doorway. So all you have to do now that you've cleared out the room, this room will always be clear. So anytime I leave here to go back to get more blast arrows, if I come back in and I see the goblins, I just leave. If I come back and it's the lizard room, everything will be dead. It will not reset. It will stay like that. So you can pretty much farm the scene like all day long and it's totally fine. Okay, so let's quick get our stamina back up to beef. So all you have to do for this method is save your game here. And we're going to use the God's Bane to reset Death's position inside of the aisle. Which will reset it near this room so that it always comes um, if we bait it. So we're going to go ahead and kill ourselves here. Again, this will reset uh, Death's position. And we'll retry. And now the room, again, is, is totally clear. It's totally fine. Um, so what we'll want to do now is place the bait and death will appear. It's that easy. Um, definitely you want to be downing an item that will double your experience points before you do this. I'm already level max, so I'm not caring about it. Um, but you definitely want to if you're doing this for leveling. Again, level 140 to 200 I did in under an hour, so um, it's great. So you want to do is, is you want to down four of these things, and this will increase my strength up four times. I can't hear the game so I don't know how many times I did it. I will use the blast arrows, I'll place the meat, we are ready to go. He appears like clockwork every time. Is he gonna run? Oh my gosh. I did not know that he runs on hard mode. In normal mode, he just falls over and over and over and over again, and that's it. Um, he doesn't run away. But in hard mode, I guess he runs away? I did not know that. I guess that's why you guys were telling me I should make sure that I have all my knockdown items to make sure that uh, we knock him down. I was not aware of that. Wow. Yeah, so, if you're in normal mode, you don't have to worry about that. I wonder if we can even do it now, or not. I probably don't. All I need to do is put on the uh, the claws, and I should be able to do it. But I, I honestly don't care, because I, I'm already level max. But, let's see. I just missed on that first shot, too. That sucks. Yeah, so that's a lot of experience points, 999999. If you have an item that multiplies it by 2, that's a lot of items. It's a lot of levels, that's what that is. Um, you can get level 3s and stuff from it as well. Um, but yeah, so basically now that we've done this, all we have to do is Dragon Bane again, and he will reappear every time as long as we place a meat. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough blast arrows with me, so you could bring your pawn if you want to. Um, or what you can do is just take the lift stone and go back, grab more blast arrows, go back down here, save your game, God's Bane, place the meat, do it again, over and over and over again, and you'll be level 200 in no time. So uh, I hope that gives you a cool idea of how easy that is. Um... 
I guess if we want to knock him down better, we could equip stuff like the cursed belt if we don't have it on. Do we have it on? We do have it on. Chinkleese is knocked down. There is these things, the barbed nails, which will uh, uh, double our knockdown, and we can equip two of those, and that will help us as well. But anyways, this is just a very easy way to farm him if you want to be cheap. 